Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and today what I'm playing is Devil May Cry 5, which it's a very interesting story. I hope this doesn't upset somebody that perhaps is a big fan of this game because I'm not the biggest fan of this particular game. Um, now that being said, I'm not. I've never been like the hugest fan of Devil May Cry. Admittedly, when it comes to these kinds of games, my favorites are perhaps. God of War, the new one, of course, which obviously is somewhat different, but still in the same kind of general vein, as well as Bayonetta. I really enjoyed both of those games a lot, and that's not to say that I didn't enjoy Devil May Cry, because I do enjoy those games, but there have never been the biggest ones to me. But everybody keeps telling me that this new game is just completely amazing, and so I had to check it out for myself, and whenever I got a Xbox One X, I decided now was the time to really check it out. So, Devil May Cry 5 obviously changes the formula back to more of the original because a lot of people got really upset over DMC Devil May Cry, which I never really understood why. Because that game was fine. Like, like I said, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I prefer other games like Bayonetta more. But at the same time, I thought it was a fine game. I didn't see what the problem was, you know. It, wasn't like the best game ever, but it was fine, you know, it, it did a decent job, in my opinion, of handling the gameplay just like you would expect. And so I would never really understood that. And then, you know, people praise this game left and right, and it's like, there's really not that much difference between them. They play very similar. As a matter of fact, I'd almost say I prefer the play style of this game less then I do DMC Devil May Cry. I like that game a bit more because of the pacing and whatnot. And I know it's kind of a weird thing to say. Like I said, it's probably going to upset some people. People will probably say, oh, I'm wrong. That my opinion is completely wrong. But that's the way I feel. And you can't really change the way I feel about the opinion. I'd like to explain a few reasons as to why. Like, first of all, the graphics of this game are mind-blowing. This is literally one of the best-looking games I've seen. Um, but... At the same time, the environments, they kind of have, like, a lack of interestingness going on. Like, it's very plain environments, despite how beautiful they are. The environments are a lot more imaginative uh, with DMC. And another thing, of course, is this game, like, has kind of iffy camera controls compared to DMC, which um, I'm talking about, like, the way the camera automatically handles itself you know it just seems like it handled it a lot better in that particular game and for that matter dmc3 even you know or i never played four but i don't know the camera just seems a little iffy on this one you have to use this lock-on system and yeah you can spin the camera around but you're you have to keep your button you know you have to keep your thumb on the buttons and that's kind of where i find a problem with that so I just, I don't know what it is about this game. I, I do enjoy it, but I've had it for about a month and a half almost, and I still haven't beat it, because, you know, I can usually tolerate maybe doing one or two missions at most at a time. It just hasn't been the most exciting game. Now, that being said, I can recognize the quality. I mean, like I said, visually, it's stunning. Uh, I really enjoy the sound and music design. I enjoy a lot of that. But... I'm not a huge fan of the way you have to lock on, and you can't dodge, it seems like, unless you're holding the RB button or R1 or whatever, depending on how you're playing. You know, whereas it was a simple left bumper tap in uh, DMC. It was just a lot more simplified. This game has a lot more going on, so maybe if you like more complex fighting mechanics, this might be the game to play, you know. And perhaps that's where the disconnect is. You know, maybe the people that like uh, some of the other DMC games more, they prefer the complexity. They can, they prefer, I guess, more variety in the combat, which, yeah, I will admit, this game has more variety in the combat because, obviously, you get to play three different characters, which is really cool. And they all have their unique play style. Like, they're, each character has their own style. I would probably say Nero is probably my favorite to play, so whenever I have a chance, that's who I'm going to play as. But, um, you know, because Dante is probably the most complex character to play, 
Uh, Virgil or V or whatever, uh, he's actually the easiest to play because you just have to focus a little more on defense because your uh, summons or whatever, they kind of fight for you. You just command them. But, you know, that, that being said, he's kind of the most boring to play at the same time, partly because of that style of gameplay. Nero's kind of that comfortable medium, and that's who I like to play as, as a result. Not to mention, he plays more like classic DMC style. You know, Dante, like I say, he's a little more cumbersome to play as. And that's why I'm not the hugest fan of the way he plays. Do I have my uh, stuff built up? No, I guess I don't. Oh, I'm, oh never mind. I'm not even thinking of him. <laughs> yeah, but anyways... I hope that doesn't upset people, or people saying, oh, you're wrong, clearly, you know. That my opinion is wrong. That's obviously the point, you know, it's an opinion. And, you know, some people's opinions are wrong. And I totally get that, you know. I wouldn't say my opinion's wrong here, but the way that some people attacked uh, some of the games like DMC, they're kind of in the wrong, because in a lot of, like, I'd say these games are pretty similar about 80-85% of the way. You know, I don't know if it's because they were just upset about the way the reboot was handled or what, you know, but, like, the gameplay is very similar between these games. Obviously, DMC is a little more simplified, and I kind of enjoy that, you know, especially it kind of makes sense you're trying to find new fan base, you know, as opposed to simply just catering to the original fan base, and that's not the case. I mean, this game can be really easy if you want it to be, because you can set it on the lowest possible difficulty if you want, and it's really a cakewalk when you're playing on human mode. It's it's a joke, almost, at, at how low the difficulty is. You know, you, like, barely ever die, unless you're just really terrible, but if you are, well, that's the mode to play, obviously, you know. Unlike certain games like Sekiro, it kind of gives you that player agency to decide what you want to do, and that's really cool. You know, I really appreciate that uh, Capcom gives people that opportunity. Not to mention the different characters, you know, you can, at least in certain missions where you get to play different characters, you get to kind of choose the way you want to do it. I'm playing really terribly, I'll admit. I'm not the best at these kinds of games. Um, but, um, like I said, Nero is my favorite one to play. Now, that's not to say this game is bad. It's not even remotely bad. It's, it's a very high quality game. I recognize that. It's very polished. You know, it's fast and fluid, like I said, you know, graphics look amazing. Gameplay is actually pretty solid, it's just that I kind of prefer the simplicity of uh, DMC more so over this, or even some of the older games like DMC 3. Like, I don't know, this one just seems like, in terms of the way you do the combat, it's a little more complex, uh, especially when you're playing as Dante, who's probably the most complex character to play, because he has the ability to switch weapons and... You know, there's there's just a little bit more going on compared to the other characters, so you have to kind of keep that in mind uh, when you're playing this. But like I said, even with that complexity, difficulty is not really a problem if you're playing on a lower difficulty setting. Um, and if you are skilled, obviously, then you know if you're if you're a huge fan of this series, you're probably already played this game. You probably already have it. You probably already beat it several times. I am sure. And if you enjoy this game more so than some of the others, or even enjoy this the most, that's fantastic, you know. It's just not my personal favorite DMC game, and I'm sorry if that offends you in any way. Uh, that's not my intention. I just kind of want to have my honest opinion on it. Now, I still fully intend on going through and beating this game. I think I'm on mission 13 here. So I don't know how close I am to beating this game, but I'm, I'm sure I'm more than halfway through at this point. You know, I doubt this game has 26 missions, but maybe it does. Perhaps maybe I'm completely off on that. It has been a little while, so I'm not quite got the gameplay down. Maybe if I uh, keep playing it more, then I'll just kind of grasp it again. But I don't know, man. It's just... It's just something about it. Plus, this game is very cutscene heavy. Like, there is a lot of cutscenes, which is kind of weird because, like, like I said, there's a lot of cutscenes, but if you're not, like, someone that's familiar with the Devil May Cry mythos, you're going to be kind of lost about a lot of this stuff going on, which that's another reason why DMC kind of 
was a good approach because, you know, it's like I said, it was a good way to introduce new players that may not know exactly what's going on here. And uh, so it's a good way to introduce them to the franchise. And, you know, they can obviously go back and go back to the other games. But this one, like, if you really care deeply about the storyline and lore, but you really haven't played this game before, like, you haven't played any of the DMC games before, you're probably better off starting with the HD trilogy or at least playing through, like, Devil May Cry 4 or... Well, I guess DMC wouldn't count because it's a completely different story arc entirely, so you're going to be kind of lost still. You know, there's not going to be, like, a lot going on. So you should definitely play, like, one of the earlier ones if uh, this that kind of stuff's important to you. But if not, if you're just looking for a mindless action, well, you don't really have that either because the action's actually quite deep. Like I said, you know, it's very complex. It's not going to be something that you could just kind of button mash like I am here playing really terribly here. If you want to be the best, you know, because you have these ranking systems that kind of determine how well uh, you're playing the game. And obviously you can just simply do a good job and avoid damage, but you're not going to get a very good ranking. You'll probably get like a C or a B maybe if you're doing that kind of stuff, you know, if you're just staying to where you're not getting hit and whatnot. Yeah. Okay, I need to like, yeah, use an arm up there, kind of get them juggled. But yeah, I don't know, man. It's just, I can't, I, it is my opinion, though. Like I said, I'm still going to play through this game, and I really just need to get it done. But, I you know, I, I had to go back. I had to go back a little bit. I decided to play a little bit of Bayonetta and DMC Don't May Cry just to kind of compare and make sure that wasn't, like, crazy or just remembering things wrong. And it, it just turns out, you know, Bayonetta is my favorite one of those kinds of games. Uh, it has the complexity and the fluidity of this game, but it is a lot more simple to play as well. You know, like, if you, it's a game that you don't have to be, like, very good to do good, um, as long as you, you know, playing the game correctly, of course. Whereas this, you're just, you know, unless you're playing it like the developers want you to, because, you know, like, it's, all about the style, but they want you to play a certain way to actually get a good score. You have to use a lot of variety in your attacks. They don't just look at things like, oh, you're not getting hit, or, um, you know, you're killing enemies quickly. They, they look at you playing the game in a specific way in order to get the best scores, and it's a very, it's a very fine challenge, but I don't know, it's just not my kind of thing. You know, I prefer the simplicity and not to mention Bayonetta just has a lot more going on in terms of like when you're fighting bosses you have like cool finishers that you do for each boss there's just not as much of that going on here which I guess you could say that's kind of because this game is post um, post QTE obviously Bayonetta was during the whole QTE craze when every game had to do that and I totally recognize that but at the same time I don't know, it's just something a little more enjoyable for me personally. And, you know, if you if you guys love this game, that's great. You know, you can maybe say why you prefer this over similar games. You know, where I might be able to kind of reanalyze this and maybe just play through it again and see where I'm off on that. I don't know. It's entirely possible. I'm open to the idea of this because, I mean... I like the idea behind the Devil May Cry franchise, it's just never been my personal favorite. Um, even like back in the early ones, like with Devil May Cry 1, I was kind of more of a fan of Onimusha. Um, I think that that's partly because I'm a huge Resident Evil fan and I kind of dug the approach of having like a mix of survival horror as well as like melee combat. I thought that was a really cool little mix, whereas DMC or... DMC, that's the reboot, my bad. Devil May Cry 1 uh, was obviously not that way. You know, it was more of a straightforward action kind of game. So, but yeah, that's what I've got to say on Devil May Cry 5. Like, you know, if you want to give it a try, I think you should definitely do so. But if you're not, like, the biggest fan of action-based games that require a lot of different button combinations, if you want something that's a little more simplified... Uh, just keep that in mind because there's there's just a lot going on with this game It's not really one I would recommend for somebody that's a little bit more of a noob like me <laughs> You know, I recognize it. 
I recognize it, and it is what it is. So, anyways, thanks very much for tuning into this episode of what I'm playing, and till then, down Phoenix out.